tuning in virtually and watching our broadcast on this morning. This indeed is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Let me try that one more time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have so many reasons to rejoice, so many reasons to be glad. So many reasons to give God praise, to give him glory, to give him honor, and to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. The Bible reads in Psalms 145, according to the New International Version, it says, I will extol, exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. I like what that scripture says. It says, great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. And I wonder how many in the house this morning and how many of you all tuned in virtually knows that God is great. Yes. And he's most worthy of praise. Yes. In spite of our circumstances, in spite of our situation, in spite of what's going on, God is good and he's most worthy to be praised. Amen. I heard somebody say that good is just God stretched out. Amen. Amen. Good is just God stretched out. Amen. So let us go on and lift up our hands. Put our hands together, open up our mouths, and give God praise. Amen.
Good morning, church. Good morning. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, the one that sits high and looks low, creator of the universe, almighty, all-seeing, all-knowing. Lord, Father God, we just thank you. We thank you, Father God, for another opportunity. Yes, yes. to come into this place yes, yes. and give you all honor, all praise, and all the glory that's due your holy and your matchless name. Amen. We thank you, Father God, for our early morning rising. Yes, we thank you that when you woke us up this morning, Father God, we had the activities of our lands. We woke up clothed in our right minds, able to travel along the highway yeah. to get here so that we could come and give you all the praise that you so richly deserve. Father God, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we don't come from no shape, form, or fashion, yeah, yeah. but just to give you all the praise. Yeah. Father God, we cast our cares upon you, Father God. Father God, we ask that you search our hearts and minds. Forgive us of our sins, Father God. Forgive us of those things, Father God, of our shortcomings. Father God, we lay our sins at your feet. We ask you to cast them as far as the east is from the west, never to be seen or heard from again. Father God, we come to this place of healing. We come to this place of deliverance, of hope. Father God, trusting and depending on you, Father God, that you would bring us through, that you would carry us through, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you shower down your blessings, Father God, like you never have before. Father God, create a right spirit in us right now, Father God. Renew a right spirit in us. Father God, give us the love that runs from heart to heart and from breast to breast. Give us the attitude of gratitude, Father God, to be grateful for the things that we have, to be grateful for the things that you've done, be grateful for the things that you haven't done, Father God, for your will is a perfect will. Father God, whether we can see it or not, your will is a perfect will. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you bless the sick, go into the hospitals and the nursing homes, Father God, touch Heal and deliver right now in only the way that you can. Father God, bless those families that are grieving the loss of a loved one. Let them know, Father God, that you haven't forgotten about them. Let them know, Father God, that weeping only endures for a night, but joy does come in the morning. Let them know, Father God, that you are yet holding them up with your righteous right hand, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen us where we're weak, Father God. Build us up, Father God, where we've been torn down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, we wouldn't be able to thank you and praise you enough for all the many wonderful blessings that you've given to us. We thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your loving kindness, for keeping us, Father God, when we couldn't even keep ourselves. Father God, we just thank you right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, come into this place right now, Father God. Oh, Father God, we need you this morning. We can't make this journey without you, Father God. We need you every day, and we need you every hour, Father God. You know what we stand in the need of, Father God, before we know what we need, Lord. And we're trusting and depending on you right now to see us through. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the man of this house, Lord. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to build up his body, Father God. Continue, Father God, to feed him so that he can continue to feed your people. Bless his wife and family, Father God. Build them up, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Father God, bless every leader of this church. Give us the attitude of servitude, Father God. Remind us, Father God, that it's all about you and not about us. That it's all about giving to you, Father God. And it's not for self-gratitude. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. We ask that all those that enter in receive a blessing. That they don't leave here the same, Father God. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh -huh. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you. We praise you, Lord. Yes. We lift you up, Lord, and we magnify your holy and your precious name. These blessings I ask in your son Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 another day we've traveled across town here it did not have to be but it was not because of who we are but because of who he is so yes he is worthy to be framed standing all over the building on the back of your bulletins we're gonna go together in unison the declaration of faith but he is truly worthy to be praised. oh yeah oh yeah all together I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered unto Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. How many people in the house have come to praise the Lord this morning? We ought to just get excited about Jesus. We ought to get more excited about Jesus than we would if we won a million dollars. Amen. I know if we won a million dollars, you'd be hooping and hollering and jumping and shouting. Amen. So let's get excited about Jesus. Amen. This morning. How many in the house is glad to be in the service? You're glad to be in the service? One more time. He didn't have to let us live. But we're glad to be in the service. One more time. Can we lift up our voices this morning as if we are glad to be in the service? Hallelujah.
One more drive to the church on you. One more time. But he kept me. One more time I'm breathing. But he kept me. One more time. Hallelujah. I'm just happy about the one. And they got to be two just today. Just one. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's something about praising the Lord that just makes you feel better. Amen? Amen. The Bible says that God dwells in the midst of praise. Amen? He loves the sound of praise. Amen? So we ought to just give God praise. Amen? Praise our way through whatever we're going through. We're going to praise our way through. Amen? Amen. We're going to praise the one who is able. To help us get through. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go on and put your hands together one more time and give God some praise. Amen. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Let us continue to praise the Lord. We're going to press a little further. Amen. Into our praise. And at this time, we want to take this time just to welcome all of our visitors. Is there anyone in the sanctuary this morning who is visiting with us for the first time? If you will, if you are, will you please stand at this moment? We just want to acknowledge you. Amen. 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 We want to acknowledge you and thank you on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Terrell, his lovely wife, Lady Barbara Terrell, and the entire Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church. We welcome you and thank you for choosing to fellowship with us on this morning. And we pray that there will be something said or done that would encourage you and inspire you in some way. Amen. And for those of you all who are tuning in virtually for the first time as visitors, we welcome you as well and thank you for choosing to worship with us on this morning. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. Let our minister of music bring us another song. And then I will come back and we will do uh, what the program tells us to do. We're going to just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We said we're going to do what the program tells us to do. But we also allow the Holy Spirit to have his way. Amen. Amen.
come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. It is given time in the house. Amen. It is given time. And we know that God loves what kind of giver? He loves a cheerful giver. There the scripture says, the point is this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Let us lift up our offerings before the Lord. Father, we thank you for the privilege to give. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us, Father God, the way that you do. Now, Lord, we want to give back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. Use it for your glory. Multiply it in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. to remember. We want to make our announcements at this time. But before I make our announcements, let us go ahead and celebrate our November birthdays. Amen. Amen. <laughs> then we will do our things to remember in our announcements. First birthday we're going to celebrate is Sister Francine Gamble. Amen. She's celebrating her birthday on the first of November. Amen. Amen. Our next birthday is Sister Jocelyn Porche, who also celebrated her birthday on November the 1st. Then on the 3rd of November, we celebrate none other than that of Sister Pauline Dyson. And then the next we're going to celebrate Mother Hoover, who celebrated. 
celebrates her birthday on the 6th of November. We also celebrate Mother Sister Ida Collier on the 7th of November, which is today. We also celebrate on the 12th of November, Brother Raquel Terrell. We celebrate on the 15th of November, Brother Dudley Morey. We celebrate on the 20th of November, Mother Johnson. We celebrate on the 26th of November, Brother Curtis Collier. And on the 27th, we celebrate Brother Elijah Collier. Let's give it up for those November birthdays. We wish you all the best and may God continue to bless you in a special way, amen? Amen. We have uh, some announcements that we would like to make at this time. We would like for everyone to always remember on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. we have our Bible Academy, amen? from seven to eight, amen? And sometimes we go over because it just be that good, amen? Amen. So we ask that all who can and will, please join us on our Bible Academy on Thursday night at seven. That call in number is 605-472-5304, code 970-633, amen? So we ask that you if you can, please join us. We will love to have you uh, in our Bible Academy. Amen. As we continue to learn and study the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Also, on the 13th of November, which is Saturday, this coming Saturday, uh, we at 5 p.m. I know on the program it says 10, but it's at 5 p.m. We will have our Youth Reboot Summit in the Fellowship Hall. Amen. That's on this Saturday, which is the 13th at 5 p.m. Please take notice of the time change, amen? On the 23rd of this month at 7 p.m., we will have a pre-Thanksgiving service, amen? And we ask that all who can and will please join us. We also have some cards here uh, to be read. It says, with special thanks to all of you, to know you is to know people who are kind, considerate, and thoughtful. To know you is to be grateful for the special things you do. For everything you've done, for being the special people that you are, thank you so much. That is from Sister Mason and family. A blessing is just what you need, right when you need it. Thank you so very much. To my Good Hope family, I want to thank you for calls, texts, the wonderful fruit basket, love, and most of all, your prayers. Please continue to keep me lifted up as I continue to heal. Be blessed always. Love, Sister Malone. You have no idea how amazing you are. You go out of your way to care about others, sharing your strength, wisdom, and love in ways that lift spirits and touch hearts. Words cannot express how truly grateful we are for you all. Thank you for the prayers, love, and concern during our time of grief and the hospitalization, caring of my mother. God bless you all for everything we 
We love and thank God for each of you. You're amazing in all that you are and in everything that you do. Thank you. This is Ministers Jackie and Eric Parche and family. Uh, is this a Marks, Marks Davis and Porsche family? Amen. Amen. So we continue to pray for those families. Amen. Continue to remember them in our prayers. We also have those who are on our special prayer request list. Amen. We want to remember, continue to remember our pastor and first lady. Continue to lift them as they continue to uh, draw strength. Amen. Continue to heal. We want to pray for Mother and Deacon Emeritus Kenner, Sister Terry Cunningham, Maria Dyson, Sister Malone, uh, families, uh, families Mason, Davis, Parche, Marks, Brown, elected officials, all the poet service members. When we continue to lift everyone up in prayer, amen. And not only for those that are listening and that was named, but those that we are unaware of, we want to pray for them as well, amen. As they said, we pray for uh, those spoken prayer requests as well as those unspoken prayer requests, amen. And we also want to remember one another in our prayers, amen. Our thought for the week is, in the midst of movement and chaos, keep stillness inside of you. Amen. That reference scripture is coming from Psalms 37 and 7. Amen. Let us please take heed to all of the announcements that has been announced on today. Amen. And if you need to go back later, please, in our bulletin, you will find them there as well. Amen. It is preaching time. Amen. Amen. And I know there is a word from the Lord on this morning that will come from our pastor and oversee, Pastor Raven Terrell. Amen. So as we prepare to hear what God has to say to us this morning, we ask that the good Lord will condition our hearts, our minds, and our spirits to be receptive to the word. Amen. As our minister of music ushers us and prepares the way for us into the word of God. Amen. Let us pray as our pastor prepares to preach.
Father, we thank you this morning for all that you've done for us. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. From the rocking of our cradles up until this present moment, yes, you've been our God. Yes, yes, yes. And Lord, we say thank you. Thank you Lord. Now, God, as we come to prepare to receive your word, let it not go out and come back void. Let it, the Heavenly Father, permeate the hearts, the souls, and the minds of those who may hear. Yes, we ask, O oh, gracious God, that you would come and hold me in the hollow of your hand. Yes, Lord. That you would come to him, Heavenly Father and hide me behind the cross. Yes. Give me the spirit, the Heavenly Father, and the power that comes with the preaching. We ask, O oh, gracious God, that you would allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let it be acceptable unto thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. He's good. He's good. He's better to us than we've been to ourselves. He's good. Woke you up this morning. Started you on your way. Food on your table, yes, sir. clothes on your back, yes, sir. reasonable portion of your health and yes, your strength. Yes, sir. He's good. Yes, he is. The thing about it, he didn't have to do it. Mm. We don't deserve it, Come on now. but he's good. Yes, he is. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just want to say thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Just want to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Every hour, thank yeah. you. Every day, thank yes, you. Thank you Lord. <laughs> All along our little merry ways, yes, thank, thank you. you Lord. Come with an attitude of gratitude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We thank God for all of you who are here this morning. Amen. By the strength and the power of our Lord and Savior, yes, Jesus the Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I know. I know how the disciples felt when Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration. They saw a spectacular view and didn't realize exactly what God was doing through Jesus for them. Mm -hmm. But they made it up in their mind and declared, Lord, it is good for us mm -hmm. to have been here. All right now. All right. Amen. And we are so grateful. We thank God for the ministers that are in the house today. Yes. Amen. Minister Payne. Amen. Minister Evans. And both Mr. and Mrs. and, 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 and Elder and, and, and Minister Porsche. Yeah, we yeah. thank God for the mothers, the deacons, yeah, the ushers that's on the door. Amen. Amen. And then last but not least, we thank God for the lady of the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise for he's good. Yeah. He's good. I heard somebody say that we are in the 11th month mm -hmm. of this year. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? All right. 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 Who would have thought? Yes. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. It was so many decisions and undecisions that was made in January. Mm -hmm. And yet mm -hmm. here we are one month out yes, Lord. of saying goodbye to 2021. I'm so grateful that God is on the throne. Yes. yes I'm so glad yes, sir. Yes, sir. that the elders are around the throne. Yes, sir. But I'm happy about the Lamb. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. The Lamb that was slain yes. Yes, yes. for our transgression. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With his stripes. We are, we are mm. healed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Nobody but God. Yeah. Nobody but, but God. God. Yes, now, I, I'm here to tell you, he's not through yet. Amen. Simply because the best is yeah. yet to come. To come. Shut up. Shut up. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about what the devil has in store. I know the best come on. Come on. is yet you, to come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord. And we invite your attention once again. Can we go back to Psalms? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is that all right? It look like God will get us out of Psalms, but it's just so much there. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. We're going back into Psalms, too. 
the intercessory prayer team, we appreciate and enjoyed last night's prayer service, prayer Bless call. Bless Amen. Thank God for uh, Minister Evans uh, carrying on that stead. Amen. Uh, we had we had calls from all over the, the, the nation. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, familiar voices. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Sir. Praying for what God has laid on our hearts. Yes. And I need you to know you covered, you covered, you covered, you covered oh, yes. because of the prayers of the righteous. Oh, yes. Let's go to Psalms 27. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. Psalms 27. And when you have found it, say amen and rest to your feet. To those who are visiting us virtually, we welcome you and thank God for your presence. Amen. Psalms 27, coming from the King James Version, amen. reads thusly, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes. Whom shall I fear? All right. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, what happened? They stumbled and fell. All right. Lord hosts should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. Oh, yes. One thing. One thing. Come on, put, 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 put your thing. finger up. One, one thing. thing. One thing. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. One thing have I desired of the Lord. Oh, yes. That I will, that I will seek after, mm -hmm. that I may dwell in the house of the Lord mm. all the days of my life. Yes, sir. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Yes, yes. In the secret of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Mm. And now, and now, and now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle yes, sacrifices of joy. Yes, oh, yes. Yes, sir. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises yes, unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me and put not Thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither for, forsake me. O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me thy way, O Lord, mm -hmm. yeah. and lead me in the plain path. Yeah. Because of mine enemies, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. Mm -hmm. For false witnesses are risen, are rising up against me, and such as breath out cruel, cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. On the, Lord. Amen. the word of God for the people of God. May God bless you richly. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. We've been in Psalms for a minute. But there is some things that we need to understand that comes from Psalms that's good for the soul. Yeah. And I want to just zero in for a few minutes on verse or stanza number five. For in the time of trouble, mm -hmm. he shall hide me in his provision. In, a, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Mm -hmm. 
he shall set me upon a rock. Look to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Let him hide you. Let him hide you. Let him hide you. All right. There is something about hearing the word secret. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And when we hear it, it piques, it piques our curiosity. It heightens our ears to make us desirous to listen more than we ever had before. When you meet somebody and you tell them, I got a secret I got to tell you. Watch. I got it. Come on, Come on, Come on. Watch. 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 Oh, yes. How quick their steps are. Oh, yeah. They may have been hurting all day, but when you say, I got a secret. Oh, yeah. Run. <laughs> that pain Run. is gone. Huh? Yeah. There's something intriguing about being the only person mm -hmm. in the whole wide world to know the details mm -hmm. about a certain person, about a certain situation, and, 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 and if you're, if you're, how to say it, if, if you're true to yourself, yeah. and if you really want to wanna, wanna say that you're a good person, Hmm? Every one of us want to know the 411. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Do I have a witness? Oh, yeah. When somebody has something for you uh, to know and don't want nobody else to know it, don't you feel a little something, something? <laughs> don't you feel a little special? Yeah. <laughs> that person may owe you some money, but he got a secret. <laughs> That debt is paid. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Yeah, come on down. Yes, sir. I read, I read somewhere that Benjamin Franklin once said three people can keep a secret. Mm. Only if two of them are dead. Yes, oh, oh. Come on you get that when you get home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on now. My brothers and my sisters, we're living. In some strange times. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in some challenging times. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is an element of fear and concern that has gripped the lives of many and millions of people. Mm -hmm. Because of the selfishness of some folk who refuse to do one thing mm -hmm. that would help put our lives on the right course. Mm -hmm. Our president. Well, just let me say the president. He might not be your president. <laughs> but the president okay. had to step in and mandate, amen, that the businesses uh, who have more than 100 employees or more must be vaccinated or tested every day. My brothers and my sisters, this pandemic has affected not just the U.S. economy, but the world's economy. Mm -hmm. yeah. In every major U.S. port, mm -hmm. from the east to the west, from to the south to the north, there are ships anchored off, off, off course in the, in, the, in the seas and in the ocean. They're anchored right off shore and cannot unload their materials, cannot unload their goods because the pandemic, amen, has it such that there's not enough longshoremen to offload the ships. And if by chance, even after running 24-7, you get the goods and the containers to the port, there's not enough truck drivers to move the goods and the materials Amen. To the market. And now the price of everything we use every day, do I have a witness, mm -hmm. have increased almost 50%. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're living in some challenging times. The voting rights of uh, voting rights bill of 1964 is in danger of not allowing the rights of the black and brown Americans to freely vote. When hundreds, if not thousands of people lost their lives just for the sake that we may have the right to vote and the right to be able to say, I am an American. Mm -hmm. Crimes in every kind of, 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 of nature have risen and they have been uh, 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 said, it's said that in the U.S. history, crime has never been as high as it is now. You know and I know people are dying for no reason at all. They're dying in the grocery store. They're dying in school. They're dying in the safety of their home. They're, di they're dying just driving down the street mm -hmm. in their cars. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have, we have, we have a trial about to start because one young black man mm -hmm. was jogging in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's dead. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but wait a minute, policemen and law enforcement agencies they are leaving the job because they are overwhelmed and the games are taking over. Yeah, yeah. Here is a warning sign for parents and grandparents. Know what your child is into. Yes, sir. Know why they are wearing the same color in a certain position on their bodies. Know who their friends are yeah. simply because one day you may get a call and they'll tell you that your child is locked up in jail. Mm. <laughs> Good God Almighty. And you don't know why. Hmm? You have no idea of what that child has been doing. Right. I'm here to tell you because of the fact that I'm one of those who left the house looking one way. But when I got to school, I looked another way. Uh -huh. And my mother had no idea that I had changed my clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. Hmm? And not to mention, not to mention the racism that society, amen, has gripped again. I believe it was the Beatles years ago uh, that said a, had a song that said, all we need is love. Yeah, yeah. But can I put a parenthesis in there? All we need is Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Y'all help me preach this now. Amen. Add to all of those things, mm -hmm. all of our personal problems, our trials and our tribulations, and it's enough to make you yell, stop <laughs> the world. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get off. Do I have a witness? And it's so bad that oftentimes you might want to yell, I wish I could find a hiding place. Yes. Good God Almighty. Say that. But I'm here to tell those who are sure enough saved mm. so and in love with Jesus. Mm -hmm. The good news is God's words, yeah. <laughs> God's words yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. are as meaningful and as relevant the day today that it has never been before. Mm -hmm. If we hide his words yes. down in our hearts, yes. he is still the same God today yes. that he was when David penned the words, the Lord is my light yes. and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Yes, yes, yes. Whom shall I be afraid? Mm. Those words still carry strength. Yeah. Those words still carry encouragement. Mm -hmm. 
Those words still carry truth. Those words still carry us to the end of the day. My brothers and my sisters, there is a secret place. And there is still peace in the midst of the storms. That we can know as children of God. It goes beyond human understanding and knowledge. What are you talking about, preacher? Uh, this morning, let us look. Let us look at the question. Uh, is there a secret place? Mm. Mm. Everything that's going on in the world, can we steal away <laughs> and have a place to be able to be safe and protected? I need you to look at something. The first thought that may come to our minds when we talk about a secret place may have to do with David. Amen. And the fact that David was hiding from King Saul yeah. as Saul was continually trying to make attempts for his life. Mm -hmm. David knew what it was like to be on the run as a fugitive from justice, not just from justice, but from a jealous and an ungodly king. David had to continually be on the move or risk his life being taken away from him. He had to hide in some unusual places. Mm -hmm. I understand you, David. I see you, David. I feel you, David. Because sometimes I want to hide in some unusual places. Huh? Right. Right. When my back is up against the wall. Mm -hmm. And when the devil thinks he has that he has the game in hand, mm -hmm. sometimes I don't want, I, I can't go down in my man cave mm -hmm. because somebody know I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't come out, good God Almighty, to my study at the church mm -hmm. because somebody know I'm there. Mm -hmm. But every now and then you just gotta steal away to Jesus come on now. Come on. and say, Lord. Show me your hiding place. Yes. Show me a secret place yes. where I can just commune with you. Yes. Yes. Amen. I, it's, a running, it's, a running, it's a running joke in my family that when they can't find me, when my cell phone can't be reached, amen. Sister Gamble, I'm AWOL. <laughs> All right now. And I'm AWOL for amen. a reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Simply because I really don't want nobody to mess with me. Right, right. Do I have a, oh my God. I, I need somebody to know that every now and then you got to get away by yourself. Yeah, yeah. And just commune with the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Good God Almighty. David, David was a military man. He was a military genius. He fought many battles and he understood the battlefield strategy. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he prayed. Before every battle he raised, he prayed to God mm -hmm. to make him victorious so that God could get the victory. Amen. He prayed, he prayed, he prayed for the Lord's protection. Mm -hmm. Beloved, we can take comfort in the fact that God can and will protect us. We may not know or understand, quote unquote, the whys of what is happening in the world. But we can take comfort in knowing that we serve a God oh, yeah. who protects us in so many ways. Mm -hmm. News flash. He protected you on your way to the church house. Thank you. Come on, Come on. Yes, Amen. And you didn't even know that you were being protected mm -hmm. on the way. To the church house. Yeah. What did he do preacher? He protected us from all hurt, harm. Yes. And danger. Oh, yes. Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. Amen. And that same protection. Is with us every day. We can't take it lightly. Yes, I heard somebody on the prayer line last night. Said we got to have an attitude. Of gratitude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? Not just because for the things. That we know he has done. Yes, but for the things that we don't know <laughs> that's coming our way, that he's going to protect us 
in the midst of our storm. Amen. Every day, in every way, Amen. he's going to protect us. Yeah. And I need you to understand that oftentimes it's not in the natural realm, mm -hmm. but oftentimes it's in the spiritual realm mm -hmm. that God sends his protection. Yes. Yes. And God lets us go from A to point B without even having our garments hinged yeah. by the fire mm. that's around us. Mm -hmm. I hear David saying in Psalms 27 and 5, for in the time of trouble, yes, yes, yes. Yes. he shall hide me right, yes. in his pavilion. Yes. Can I take you down history lane? This verse indicates to us that David understood battle tactics. Mm -hmm. For you see, when an army who was about to go into battle, amen, when they set up camp, mm -hmm. they set up soldiers and fortifications, fornication, fortification, that is, around mm -hmm. the battlefield. There was a level and a, a layer of soldiers upon soldiers around the camp. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of the camp mm -hmm. was the commander's tent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> I'm going to get there. I'm gonna, I got to let you go. It, it was the commander's tent that was pitched in the middle of the camp. Mm -hmm. and, and the commander's tent was so uh, uh, called was called a pavilion because it was the largest tent in the camp. Uh -huh. yeah. And before the enemy could declare victory, they had to get to the commander's tent. Mm -hmm. But they had to fight through layers of soldiers and bunkers and barriers before they got to the commander's pavilion. The commander's pavilion was considered a safe place. Mm -hmm. But not only that, within the, the, the commander's pavilion, amen, uh, he had a secret hidden place mm -hmm. within the pavilion. Mm -hmm. So just by happenstance, mm -hmm. if the enemy penetrated and got to the commander's tent, when they got there, they wouldn't find him there mm -hmm. because he had gone <laughs> into his safe place. Right, yeah. Good God Almighty. I need you to understand that the commander's tent, amen, was safe not only for him, but for those who were allowed to come in to the commander's tent. Mm -hmm. The secret place, the secret place in the middle of of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the camp was not accessible to everybody. And only a few people knew where the secret place was. Right and every now and then, the commander would send the captain of the army mm -hmm. out for battle mm -hmm. and tell the captain of the battle Go and do battle. <laughs> and let me know what the results of the battle is. And before the enemy could, could declare victory, if they wanted to get to the commander, uh -huh. they had to nearly wipe out the whole army right, right. in order to get to the commander. Uh -huh. And when the battles of our life rage in our lives. Mm -hmm. It's good to know that we can put our faith yes. and trust yes. in the commander yes. of our lives yes. and our salvation. Yes. And he invites us <laughs> to hide with him yes. in that secret place yes. of his tabernacle. Yes. Uh, good God Almighty. Hold on, David. Hold, hold on. First you tell me about a pavilion. <laughs> now you're telling me about a tabernacle. Mm, right. <laughs> mm. David, 
said, don't you know that a tabernacle is a place of worship? Yeah, yeah. Y'all got to get this. Yeah. And you're really defining, redefining for me what that secret place is. Mm. That lets us know that David knew that the tabernacle was, was a portable and mobile tent. Where the presence of God, yeah, yeah, woo, yep, yeah. somebody, All right. yeah. the presence of God dwelled, yeah. and as long as God dwelled, Amen, in the in the tabernacle, yes. Yes. everything yes. would be all right. Oh, yeah. 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 Do I have it when yeah. David understood yeah. Yeah. that God directed Moses when they were going through their wilderness journey? To build him a tabernacle that he may dwell <laughs> among his people. Yeah. Ooh, good God Almighty. So in essence, where they went, <laughs> God went. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. And whatever they went through, <laughs> yeah. God was right there. Yes, if they didn't have any water, <laughs> God provided. Yeah. Yeah. If they didn't have any food, God provided. And I read in my Bible that every now and again, God will summon Moses up to his tabernacle. And it was in the door of his tabernacle that Moses received instructions from God. This is what I want you to do. And I need you to do it in the name of him who sent you. <laughs> so Moses, uh, you're in my tabernacle. And David must have read, good God Almighty, the Old Testament and realized that in the tabernacle of the Most High, you can dwell when God gives you the invitation yes. to come into his presence. Yes. David knew it. David knew it. He understood it because of the declaration that he made that he made when he says in the secret place of his worship, of his tabernacle, of his church, he shall hide me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't. I, you don't see it like I do. But every time I come into the house of the Lord. <laughs> I feel like everything I went on and went through the week before, yeah. Come on I don't have to think about it yeah. up in here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. Yeah. Everything I felt the week before, I don't have to think about it or feel it the week, uh, up in here. All right. All right. Why? Because I'm in the tabernacle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when I come into the secret place. I'm hidden yeah. from the enemy. Yes, sir. And I can stand and declare to Satan, mm -hmm. shoot your mm -hmm. best shot. Yeah. Simply because I'm hidden. <laughs> Good God Almighty. And when I'm hiding and hidden in the tabernacle, of the most high. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed yeah, yeah, yeah. against me shall prosper. Shall prosper. Yeah. <laughs> Good God Almighty, you understand what hiding means, don't you? Mm -hmm. To hide means to hide by covering over. Yeah. To protect, to, to put, or keep out of sight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to conceal the knowledge of one's location. Yeah. You know what hiding is, don't you? Uh-huh. Uh it's to keep your identity a secret from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this is for this morning, but I come by divine assignment mm -hmm. to let you know that the Lord <laughs> has a safe place for you. And he has a secret place for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> I need you to understand, and I'm out of here. I remember when I was a little boy. There 
wasn't game that we had called hide and seek. Yeah, yeah, all right now. Yeah. And every time we played hide and seek, right. I, I had a friend. His name was Pharaoh. Now he's doctor. <laughs> and he would always be the first one who's caught simply because he hid in some crazy places. <laughs> Everybody would find Pharaoh <laughs> simply because he didn't know how to hide. Do I have a witness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, <laughs> one day we were playing and his big brother was sitting on the porch <laughs> and he called him over and he said, the next time Good God Almighty, they count down, and you're supposed to be hiding. He said, I'm going to hide you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simply because you don't know how to hide. <laughs> Isn't that the way it is with us sometimes? We run to and fro, but we don't know how to hide. <laughs> to have a witness. And then our big brother, his name is Jesus. He calls us over and he says, when it's time to hide, I'm going to hide you. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about the fact that sometimes I need God to hide me. I need him to hold me in the hollow of his hands. I don't know what you're going through this morning. And I don't know what battles you might be fighting. But I come with this suggestion. Let him hide you. Amen. You may be struggling with something and can't seem to overcome. Let me offer you this suggestion. Let him hide you. There may be sickness in your body and strongholds you can't overcome. But let Jesus hide you this morning. Let him put you in a secret place. David said he shall hide me. And this thing about being hidden in the secret place of the tabernacle of the commander in chief that concept he kept it on his heart he kept it on his mind because in Psalms 91 he gives it again he says who shall dwell in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. In him will I trust. Can I get a witness? Let him hide you in the midst of all your battles. Let him hide you in the midst of your trials, in the midst of your tribulations. Let him hide you in his arms because in his arms there is safety. I heard Vicki Winans saying the chorus of her songs, safe in his arms. She said, when the storms of life are raging and the billows will roll. I heard her say, I'm so glad he shall hide me and I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. Is there anybody here who knows that when he hides you, when he tucks you under his breath, good God Almighty, you're safe. 
in his arms. You're safe from all trials and tribulations. You're safe from all your enemies. But hold on. Wait a minute. I heard David say that after he hides you in the secret place, that he will set you upon a rock. Here it is. When God sits you upon a rock, you say you're able to just peek at your enemies and tell them, I see you. You can peek at your troubles and tell your troubles you won't last always. You can peek at your haters and you can tell your haters, be gone from me. You can peek at what Satan is throwing and you can tell Satan, get the hints behind me. For I'm going on to see what the end is going to be. Let the Lord hide you in the secret place of his tabernacle. Well, and I'm gone, I promise you. In the tabernacle, there is a holy of holy place. And that's where the priests would go once a year to offer up sacrifices from the people. But I'm here to tell you, we don't have to worry about having the priest to forgive us of our sins. Because from the holies of holies, the Lord, God Almighty, has sent his son. They call him Jesus. And John said, good God Almighty, and then the Lord, God Almighty, have sent his son into the world that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Is there anybody here who knows Jesus is in the secret place? Jesus will bid you to come in. Good God Almighty, I heard Revelation say, the Spirit say, come. Good God Almighty, hey, the, the Word say, come. All ye that love the Lord, come into his presence. But hear what I like about Jesus, that he's standing at the door. And he's knocking. And he said, anybody who hears him knocking and open up the door and let him in. Y'all know the rest of the story. Huh? Yeah, but he will suck with you and you with him. And then he'll say, well done. Well done. Well done, the good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. But come on now, enter into the joy of thy salvation. Let him hide you. You money funny. You change strange. Let him hide you. Folk walk out on you, turn their backs on you. Let him hide you. You have, you have lost in your life. Let him hide you. Why? Because he said he will restore unto you everything that the locusts and the canker worm has taken away. What I like it about it, when, when he hides you, he gives you and bless you fourfold those things that you lost. He will strengthen your heart. Mm -hmm. Regulate your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Set your foot on a narrow path. Mm -hmm. Simply because 
he, he, he hides you. Oh, yes. Yes. So whatever it is this morning that you're going through, you don't have to go through it alone. There is a place. <laughs> there is a place that you can come and rest yes, yes, yes. from your labor. Yeah, yeah. Even before death on the other side of the Jordan River. Hide me yes. in the shadow of your cross. Yes, Lord. Let him hide you. And I declare to you that everything yes, yes. will be all right. Yes, Do I have a witness? Yes. The world has that cross from Calvary. And they, there's a misconception. That's the tabernacle. Mm. Why? Because he looked down <laughs> and he said, Father, forgive them yeah. for they know not what they do. <laughs> he saved us from our sins. He took our sins away by the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. Okay, hold up, wait a minute. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's one more tabernacle that he had to overcome. They took him down from the cross, laid him in a borrowed tomb. That was his tabernacle. And when they went to the tabernacle or to the grave on that Sunday morning, they opened up the grave and he was gone. Just like he said he would. But here's the kicker, and you can tell anybody you want. <laughs> he's gone, but he's on his way back. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. They're trying to blame it on global warming and all that. No, Jesus <laughs> is on his way back. Yes, he is. Wars and rumors of wars. Yes, Lord. Weather, weather phenomena that we don't even understand or can explain. And he tells us in, in his word that we don't have to be afraid because he's on his way back. Yeah. And when he comes back again, he's going to he's, he's going to collect all those that have the mark of the lamb. And if you don't have that mark, <laughs> you just might miss out. My God, my God. You just might not get into the secret place of his tabernacle. Stand all over the building, if you please. Let him hide you. Let him hold you in the hollow of his hands. And when you let him hide you, he will bless you with all strength. He will bless you with all might that's in his tabernacle. In the name of Jesus. Send the invitation to Christian discipleship at this time. Someone may be in the sanctuary who does not know the Lord Jesus that will hide you. He is able to save your soul. Someone may be in the sanctuary who just stands in need of prayer. We will pray for you. Someone may just need to rededicate their life to Christ. You strayed away from Jesus and you need to be brought back and rededicate yourself back to him. Whatever it is, oh, the Bible yeah. says, whosoever will, let him come.
powerful word come upon my past on this morning. Amen. Amen. We let Jesus hide us. Amen. 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 Let us now prepare for communion.
body, which is broken for you and for me. As often as you eat it, do so in remembrance of me. In Jesus' name, we be all that my brothers and my sisters.